Good morning, guys. I'm so happy to see you this morning. Today, we are talking about Lydia and how she used her gifts to help others. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 16, verses 13 through 15. Lydia of Thyatira was a remarkable woman. Her city was known for its craftsmen, especially those who made and sold expensive purple dye. Take a look. I use only the finest snail shells. Though most successful people in business were men, Lydia learned the craft of purple dye. And when she traveled to the Roman city of Philippi, she set up a business selling rare, expensive purple cloth. Please note, we have lilac, plum, iris, lavender, and grape fabric laid out. And over here, you'll find amethyst, eggplant, and orchid. Lydia had likely been raised to believe in many false gods, but in her heart, she knew there was something more. The Jewish people believe in just one God. What if they're right? The city of Philippi had laws against bringing any unknown religion into the city. But Lydia would meet outside the city gates on the riverbank with a group of women who believed in the one true God. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Love him with all your strength. Lydia and the other women had never heard of Jesus. But as they began to seek God together, God sent a vision to someone else, the Apostle Paul, who was staying in the Greek city of Troas. Dream, it was so vivid. I saw a man standing right here begging me. He said, come over to Macedonia, help us. Immediately, Paul and his friends set sail. Within a few days, they reached land and traveled to Philippi, one of the most important cities in Macedonia. So we just start by finding a synagogue of Jewish believers, right? I don't think there is a synagogue here. On the Sabbath, a day of worship, Paul and his friends went down to the river, hoping to find a place of prayer. Shall we gather at the river? Um, excuse me. Hi there. Do you wish to join us? We're praying to the one true God. Absolutely. There, by the river, Paul told the story of Jesus and how anyone who chose to follow Jesus could have a relationship with God that lasts forever. But this is amazing. This changes everything. The Lord opened Lydia's heart to believe every word of Paul's message. I wish to be baptized at once. Not only was Lydia baptized, but she immediately shared the good news with her family and everyone who lived and worked in her home. And they too were baptized. Lydia gathered Paul and his friends. Do you consider me a believer in the Lord? If you do, come and stay at my house. We would be honored. As a successful businesswoman, Lydia's house was likely large and beautiful. We must meet here from now on. Lydia did not hesitate to give everything she had to the believers in the brand new church. And when Paul and Silas were later thrown in prison and then released, they immediately returned to Lydia's home to rest and prepare before they left the city. You must be brave. Of course we will. Don't forget to write. Later, Paul did write a letter to Lydia and others in the church of Philippi. And he remembered his time spent in Lydia's home and the church there with great joy. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. I'm happy because you have joined me in spreading the good news. God began a good work in you, and I am sure that he will carry it on until it is completed. In everything she did, Lydia continued to use her gifts to help others.
special gifts and talents that God gave us to help others. Just like Lydia used her gifts to help others, we should too. We can show people that we have Jesus in our hearts by using our special gifts to help our friends, our siblings, and even our teachers at school. This week, use one of your special gifts to help someone. See you next week.